hey, hey, got a quick word for you today. Um, I was releasing a word and in that the Lord was talking about both. And there are many of you that you've experienced so many things in your life and you're like, God, I've gone through so much of this and I've gone through so much of that. Where's the rest of it at? You know, uh, the Bible says this in Mark chapter number 10, verse number 28 through 31. Jesus was talking to his disciples. They're like, Lord, we didn't gave up everything to follow you. Like, you know, how how is this going to happen? And he's like, nobody who's lost anything for my sake and my message is going to lose it all, but you're going to get it all back. But not only are you going to get it all back, but you're going to get it back multiplied unto you in the name of Jesus. This is a great reversal. And those who have been last are going to end up first. Those who have been first are going to end up last. It says this also in the word, that as this is the great reversal, we are in the time of Purim, the time of the divine reversal, according to Esther chapter number nine, verse number 22, where that time that was intended, that it was going to be sorrow, it turned into a time of celebration. Listen, beloved, you're not going to be sorrowful in this season. It is time for you to celebrate in the name of Jesus. There are many of you where you felt like you've had to choose. And God is saying, no, I'm bringing you into a place where you won't have to choose, but you will have choices. Come on, somebody. This is a time where it's no longer just burden, but you're going to have blessing. It's no longer, you know, just test, but you're going to have that testimony. It's no longer a mirage, an image of what happened, but you're going to walk in that miracle in the name of Jesus. You're coming from persecution to possession. It is time for that. That's what is described as in the KJV version of the same verse. There are those of you, hallelujah, it's time for you to both end. Now, the other thing the Spirit of the Lord told me with regards to that is you won't have to say, okay, God, was, is it going to be this or is it going to be that? There are some of you who have been like, Okay, which one? You've always felt like somebody once said, they said, you know, you have peanut butter and no jelly. You know, you got Kool-Aid and no sugar, you know, and, and it feels like you have had things mismatched or you don't have the same thing or everything that you need at the same time. But God is saying you're going to come into this place, this season that he has for you, where is this and that, where it's both and you won't have to choose. You'll be able to say both, both goats. And so be it unto you in Jesus name. Much love. Talk soon.